welcome back to uh, Jack's Treasures, where we're always looking for the meow factor. Uh, Tracy and I have had a really super busy day today. We sold a four-piece bedroom set for $185, and then while the person was here, I ended up selling her a big Murano um, glass bowl um, for uh, uh, about 30 bucks. Plus, we sold some side tables and things like that. Took them forever to get it into their vehicle, but we ended up do, uh, do did sell it and everything <laughs> like that, and enjoyed uh, making some more room. Yes. Tracy and I got a great story to tell you. <laughs> okay. We were bidding on a unit uh, that it was a great unit. Okay. It was only a ten by ten, and it was probably a third full. Yes. That's it. It, it didn't. It wasn't full at all. So you could see a lot of the stuff in there. There was a flat screen TV that you couldn't tell if it was damaged or not. But there was a ton of Star Wars Legos things and Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Okay. We don't even know if it was all new in the box or anything like that. So Tracy and I decided that we're going to go ahead and we're going to Oh, and mind there. you, this unit is not in the Atlanta uh, 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 area. Uh, okay. I'm going to surprise him with that towards the end. <laughs> so we decided that we're going to, yes, it's not in the Atlanta area. So it was going to be a road trip. <laughs> and we were we were gonna bid on it and do the road trip okay so we're looking at this unit it's at nine hundred dollars coming up to uh, uh, went up to about a thousand dollars with ten minutes left and I said okay <clears throat> Tracy and I felt comfortable bidding on it at, at about fifteen hundred dollars and so we started bidding at about five minutes left while we were at the VA well it goes <laughs> up and it goes past the fifteen hundred dollars mark and everything like that and i'm like well okay let me go into the va and everything like that this unit that by the way is only one third full <laughs> and we only saw probably about a thousand dollars worth of stuff in it I, that we could see i think i could have probably nickel and dime two thousand out of what i could see what and then see? we were gambling off the top gambling on the rest okay <laughs> It went up to seven thousand. No, five thousand. Five thousand seven hundred and ten dollars. Okay, there is no way on God's green earth that that unit has got seven thousand dollars or five thousand dollars worth it. On top of the fact, it was in West Palm Beach, Florida, which is twelve hours away from where I am at. We were going to rent a trailer, drive down there on fr Friday, pick it up on on uh, Saturday or Sunday. Go yard sailing down there on Saturday. Go and get a sub at Las Patas. Shout out to Las Patas and uh, Fort Lauderdale. And drive back on Sunday. And drive back on Sunday. But there was no way on earth I would have bid anywhere near that. <laughs> Even if it was in Georgia, in Atlanta, I would not have bid over two thousand dollars on that unit. I mean, I might have got up to twenty three, but no way was I going to do that. One. But today we are back opening boxes. Um got a box here called Brent's Kitchen Stuff. Cookware, Pyrex, cookie sheets, skillets, muffin pans, etc. Large Balik. But then on the bottom I saw where it says Garage Shell Stuff Kitchen. So it may not actually be good kitchen stuff. Ooh. But we'll find out. Well, that's Tupperware right there. That is Tupperware. Right. That is a trash can? No, that's, that's just a little, this is a little metal decor piece. Uh, decor piece we'll put that in the booth. Yeah. All right. This is Tupperware. Oh, yeah, this is Tupperware. And Some kind of like a little part. steamer piece. Yeah. Yep. Probably going to go in the booth. All right. Another booth piece. It's kind of rusted, probably not on that one. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Please be. Oh, Salad Master. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Best friggin' uh, 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 pots and pans you could get. Yes. My mom even knows about Salad Master. They talk about that on her uh, cooking videos. Paperware. Yeah. Paperware is not the best cookware you can find. Yeah. This is all scrap metal so far. This looks a little bit nicer. That's like a wok. Yeah. Um, gourmet. Tools of the trade gourmet. Yeah. Not a horrible piece, but scrap metaling it. More favorite That one was what it is. That's uh, a it's lid. More it's just. Paper. Yeah. This all just looks like metal. Um, 
That is a lid for a... Uh, square Pyrex. Yep. That's not even for that one. Nope, that's just a regular Pyrex. Um, That'll just, go yeah, good, go to Goodwill. I've got so many of those. And this is all scrap metal. Oh, there, there's one piece of plastic, it looks like. Not even Tupperware. But, but we can definitely scrap this out. This is aluminum. Right. That's stainless. These are here. That might be uh, aluminum and oh yeah, the rest of that is steel. Not the most thrilling box ever. I was hoping there would actually be some Pyrex and stuff in there, but Well it wasn't garage sales, that's for sure. Unless they were oh, they may have been wanting to garage sale their old cookware. Who knows? Yeah. All right, let me grab this other box. This other box. This one is M and A Toys, which um, I believe that was Matt and Amanda is the names from this unit. So. Annie Beth. Oh, that was the other unit. unit. Yeah. All right. We are actually doing really well on toys. Yeah, I've been selling a lot of toys lately. Yeah. And M and A Toys tend to be. Older toys, not ones from current times. Which is Matthew, Amanda's clothing, etc. <laughs> and that looks like what we have here are some older toys. Yep, that's a cloth book. Yep, <laughs> usually sell these in the booth. Look here, baby cats are called kittens. Meow. Oh, let's see what we got here. That is not <laughs> my my Power Ranger sword. Which was one of one of the things that intrigued me about that unit was a Power Ranger sword. Oh, that is I'm, cool. That's from um, um, Disney, Aladdin. Yeah. That's probably good if we can get it fixed. These are wooden putters. Blue in the box. Precious moments. Alright. Uh, uh, bears. Sears. Eh, nah. It is old. It is old, but not. It's too, too old to be new and too new to be old. Yeah, gotcha. I'm sure get rid of all of these little things. Unless there's something special that's. Oh, gotta keep Jack. Now this is in its box, which is always a good thing. It's got a lot of little pieces to it. Nature's Nursery, Magic Grow Greenhouse. I don't know. Look into that. There's definitely a lot of playing cards. You want to twirl batons for us? Twirl batons. I don't know how to. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, I got. I, I, oh, yeah. I got it. Woohoo. Another Aladdin cup, but I don't think that's anything particularly special. That's a fish from the Little Mermaid. What the hell? Heck. Heck. It's a mouse mop. Mm -hmm. A thermos. From Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Definitely had an Aladdin fan. A lot of Aladdin stuff. That's a little um, book set meant to look older than it really is, but I think that'll look cute in the booth. Yeah. Those little DuckTales mugs are kind of cute. You don't see a lot of DuckTales stuff. No, that actually I would probably good. hold on to the ducktails. Yeah. And not saying anything about Aladdin. It's that's just you see a lot of their merchandise. Yeah. I'm going to toss these heavily used playing cards. Yeah. I'm not going to toss that because that's vintage. It's ducktails. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that's that's like a little sippy cup. Mm. Another one. Yep. Okay. Oh, that sounds like there's cards or something in it. I'm hoping not playing cards. Hoping for Pokemon. Ah, baseball cards. Baseball cards. 
And Lion King cards. And Lion King. And... Spider-Man. And Power Rangers. Come on, uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a... Looney Tunes. Is it? Yep. Yeah, it is. I just don't know who it is. Though. I don't either. I just saw the Looney Tunes logo. All right. That's just something for you to look at. And pause. Whole thing of pause. Something wrapped in here. I'll let you something unwrap wrapped. it. Okay. You got late. Yeah. What's oh, bottle? No. Oh. It's. I have no idea. Aftershave, maybe. It says something up top. Um, Captain's Pride aftershave. Yep, Avon. That'll go in the booth. It's Avon. Avon aftershave doesn't usually have much value. Those are going in the booth. Yeah, those are pretty much a dime a dozen. But uh, uh, brand. I like wood product, but not that one. That will be something to see the condition on that um, Sesame Street toy right there. Okay. This is there's a Lion King glass in here that I want, mm -mm. but I can't get it out. It actually feels like there's no. I can't. Maybe we could put some like vegetable oil on it at home or something. Or uh, a laundry soap. Okay. Please. Are their toys have been a little underwhelming little, on this particular bit, box, but got some cool stuff. Pretty sure I used to have that soap dispenser. Okay, ah, bug. Looking for a real bug. Oh, that's all messed up. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Hoping for yes, I was gonna say we're hoping for real characters here. That will sell somewhere, either online or in the booth. I don't know this one in particular, but usually the ones with the licensed characters will sell on those. Yeah. All right. Do you want to do one more box? Pick us out one more. Pick us out one more boxy box somewhere. Uh, I don't know what's going to be in this one, but the last one that said Amanda's California. It was DVDs. Yeah. I have a feeling maybe she was moving or something, and it was stuff she was going to take. Maybe. Might have been. I mean, I have really no. I don't idea. know what what else Amanda California could mean. But yeah, the last one was movies, and it, I think there were some games in it. Yeah. It's like books. And Ooh, a movies. Funko Pop. Yeah, there you go. It's a movie one too. Keanu, that looks like a cat movie. <laughs> it's a fake. Or this one feels like a fake. Okay. It is. Deadpool and Face Off. Oh, those are good. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Part Pennywise with two. spider legs. Funko Pop. Those are always hit or miss. You Here's just have to look thing those up. That we get all the time. Oh yeah, red boxes. Red boxes. Yeah. Somebody will write us and tell me that I'm a thief. No, nope, I will. Sometimes we return them when we think of it, and sometimes we put oh, them on a shelf manga. and forget about them. Oh, that's always good. Yeah. It's uh. This is a DVD. Uh, and a PlayStation 3 game that actually looks really interesting. Yeah. It's mature rated and has sheep people falling from the sky into a lady's bra. Okay. okay. <laughs> I didn't buy it on purpose. Oh, Holy Grail. Mighty Python and the Holy Grail. That's a great movie. Jim Crazy Butcher. It. <laughs> we have some of his books at home from another unit that we haven't got around to selling. Oh, okay. This is actually in here. Is that a mount for mounting your uh, phone, I, I think, so. in the yeah, car? Yeah, to a, a thing. Those are useful. Yep. Right. Yeah, th that right there we could sell. Yep. For sure. 
King of the Secret Service. All right, we got this is me like six books of Jim Booker. But yeah, that's there a not, nice little haul. Like I said, yeah, that you, the Meow Factor is going to be here. I agree. Right here with this. That one, looks like a good video one, game. And that one right there, uh, anime and all. Possibly the, the Funko things. Pops. You never know. Yeah, Pennywise with spider legs. I will say, I've sold a lot of these throughout the years, oh, and man. to this day, I don't know how to tell what's going to be a good one until I look it up. Well, we know the serial ones are nah, good ones. Yes, um, and I'll, you know anything that's a Comic-Con exclusive is obviously going to be good, yeah. but I've found ones that are completely plain and boring that wind up being hugely valuable, and then yeah. ones that look like super fancy guy with a golden arm and everything, and he's worth five bucks. So. Right. Who knows? All right, well, we're going to go ahead and cut this one short a little bit today because we do got pulled tonight. Yes. And like I said, we've already worked really, really hard um, getting four pieces of furniture into a minivan, um, which was fun. Uh, <laughs> found a little bit of stuff, probably, I think, the manga. The uh, DuckTales is always good, too. Any um, Anything Disney that is not stuff you see every day. Right. Rarer Disney is always a good thing. Yeah. I've noticed the DuckTales is very, very good. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to cut short for today. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tracy mentioned that yesterday. Yep. And we okay. will see you next and we'll time. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.